The Chiefs are still 4 0. The Chiefs, too, yeah, you're right about that. All right. Hey, folks, we'll kick off just about a half hour away. Time now to set the scene at your game as we take you out first on the field. Presented by Burger King. Later on, updates on your matchup. First live looks inside Everbank Stadium, a little more than 30 minutes away from kick here in Jacksonville between the Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts as we welcome you inside the booth, Spiro Adidas and Adam Archuleta. We saw the rain, the weather is expected to play a heavy factor in this game, and we'll start with the Colts, Arch. Without their two most indispensable offensive players, that's the major headline. No AR, no Jonathan Taylor. Joe Flacco makes his first career start with his new team. Well, and they're very thankful to have Joe Flacco because only the fourth time in his career has he come off the bench, and the offense didn't miss a beat. Thought he had a really special connection, Spiro, with his two wide receivers. Michael Pittman Jr. had a breakout game last week. Nine targets, he had 113 yards, and Josh Downs really came as a great number two. Six of his catches were for first downs last week. The passing game was excellent with Flacco under center. Arch, what are you seeing from Trevor Lawrence? Because this is now a deal where it's not just a bad start to this season, but it's also something that's carried over really from the middle part, from the end of November last year. He's not playing good football. Well, there's really no way to spin it. The expectations are high for Trevor Lawrence. And quite frankly, he does have to play better. To me, it's about the layups and the missed opportunities. The big plays are there. He just has to find a way to hit them to get the Jacksonville back on track. But good news, they have Josh Hines Allen back this week, concussion protocol all week. So they've got to rev up this pass rush. They have got to get he and Trayvon Walker after Joe Flacco in this game. And he will be wearing that guardian cap to protect himself coming off that possible concussion that he sustained last week. Colts and Jags coming up at the top of the hour, but first back to the NFL today next.